pride reflection, we gather to honor the lives of our classmates we knew and loved. In this moment of quiet reflection, we remind ourselves that the flames of life and love are never fully extinguished, even in death. Let us begin by lighting this candle. <clears throat> Human life is like a candle, whose flame, while it burns brightly, whether for a long time or briefly, sends out a circle of a glowing halo, if you will, of warmth and light in all directions. <coughs> when the candle is snuffed out, the memory of the light and its brilliance continue to glow in the mind's eye. So a human life, when it is ended, is remembered in the heart's deep core. The fire of this brilliance continues to warm our spirits with love, illuminate, and influence all that it touches. <coughs> Let us pray. Holy One, whose heart, whose heart we come and from whose heart we return, we gather today to remember and to give thanks for the women and men of the class of 76 who have died from 2011 through 2016. We remember. Stephen Harris, Curly Lunsford, Lars Newman. David Thurlow, Gerard Watson, Richard Lamont, Philip Williams. Are there others we need to add, uh, add to this list? Paul Farrell. Paul Farrell. Cindy, you had someone to add. Cindy Newsom? No, it was Steve Harris. Steve Harris. Steve Harris. <clears throat> and we'd like to take a brief moment, and if somebody wants to share a memory um, and offer up a word of thanks for that person uh, or these persons that we have called off, let's do so. Um, representing the Sisterhood of Omicron, Zaya Salon, one of our founding sisters, Debbie Evans. She had moved all the way out to Milwaukee, working for Harley Davidson. She ended up having a couple strokes and was in a rehab center. But everybody in that center knew about Hampton Institute <laughs> and knew about Omicron Zy Epsilon. Okay? And when I knew this occasion was coming up, I even called out there and spoke to a, a social worker to see what her capacity was and how her insurance was going to cover, but she wasn't going to be able to make it. And she passed before this, this happened. But I'm telling you, in her heart, even though her body couldn't do it, in her heart and in her mind, she was here with us every step of the way. And she had nothing but love. And I'm telling you, she spread the Hampton joy all up and through that rehab center. So I just want to let you know that she never forgot us. And on top of this, come to find out she was an only child. And not only was she an only child, but both of her parents were only children. So she had no aunts and uncles. She had no cousins. We were her family. And from the, till the day she closed her eyes, Hampton was always in her heart. Yeah. yeah. Anybody else have a word about anybody else in the class? I'd like Larry. to just say a couple of words about um, Flick Williams. Yes. Um, I had the opportunity, along with some of you others here tonight, to sing with him in the, class, the college choir, the concert choir. He was a brilliant musician uh, from the Buffalo area. And um, one of the things that stands out in my mind is that he wrote a song called entitled Nobody But My God. And he did it um, as a duet on tour. With, at first with Janice, I can't think of her last name, and uh, eventually with Ronnie Jolly, and it was always a highlight of our um, tours. Thank you for sharing. Mm -hmm. And was a member of uh, Rick James' <coughs> Stone City That's Band. Right. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, right. One of the, one of the, didn't know it till he died because that was not something that he put out there. Mm -hmm. But yeah, he was one of the original members. Oh. I know. Yeah. Do you yes. right? And I echo what he said about Flick as a member of the Concert and Gospel Choir. Mm -hmm. Flick always had an infectious smile mm -hmm. and a wonderful wit. Mm -hmm. 
and there is always music in his heart. And so we each should always have a song in our hearts as well, lest we forget. Yes. Thank you for sharing. Yes. Steve Harris, uh, I had the honor of working with Steve. Um, there was a bunch of media people, Ricardo was vouching for me here. And um, we would get together, and so Steve ushered in Tom Joyner. Uh, 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 he was ABC program director, and then, along with a program director, Radio One. So uh, when you listen to the radio, always think of Steve because he, you know, we, we had some talent here, as you see. And and so, like you said, a song he he will always be with us because of the way radio has gone and developed. So. So, you know, he's always with us. Thank you. Receive our thanksgiving and prayers for our classmates gone before us, for early memories of them as roommates and friends, for the sharing of time over books, over meals, over dates, and plans for the weekend for the persons they had become and were becoming. We give our thanks for the joys they experienced in life, for their loved ones and especially their children, for good times we enjoyed with them through the years, and for the little things that connected us to them, for the love they shared with others, and for their commitment to causes in which they believe and which they supported. We give our thanks for the many and often profound ways they use their talents and gifts, for services rendered to their communities, for their contributions through tasks fulfilled and challenges met, for their loyalty and generosity to Hampton Institute, and for the many ways they sought to make our life better for others. We give our thanks. For those who sacrificed their lives in service to our country, for those who died too young, but whose accomplishments we nonetheless recall, and for those who suffered adversity, loss, and protracted ill health, and endured them with courage. We give our thanks. We pray also for those whose sense of loss and grief is most keenly felt. The spouses and significant others, children, grandchildren, siblings, and friends of our deceased classmates. May they experience through your spirit not just the consolation, but the power and peace of shared affection with those who continue on. We hear our prayer. We remember our classmates who might be here today except for illness, the recent loss of a spouse or other family members, or some other disability. May they too be in our thoughts as we recall all of those who enriched our undergraduate years. We hear our prayer. Finally, we remember ourselves, men and women still blessed with significant health and vigor to experience this weekend together. <coughs> May we be a comfort to one another, bless our children and their families, and help us to inspire them, in them hope for the future, at least as bright as our past. Deepen our affections, and help us to make the years remaining to us as pleasant for others as we possibly can. And now in the words of the old prayer, support us all the day long until the shadows lengthen and evening has come and the busy world is hushed and the fever of life is over and our work is done. Then in your great mercy grant us safe lodging and peace at the last. Amen. Amen. Join me in the blessing. <coughs> May the peace that passes understanding, the peace we give to each other by our love, with the peace of an unquenchable spirit of life that will continue long after we are gone. May that peace be with us all now and in the days to come. I invite you as you leave to pick up a seashell in remembrance of our classmates who enjoyed their college years with us at Hampton, our home by the sea. Amen. Amen. Amen.